Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover. From a comedy impression of Eminem that made its way to a popular page on Facebook that sparked reactions, to more on Eminem's killer remix that's climbed the US digital sales chart according to latest report. And we'll be exploring how fans on the internet have reacted so far. But before we get started, if you enjoy content like this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and find me on social media at etlifestyle underscore web. So more reports about Eminem and Snoop Dogg's reconciliation that Eminem confirmed on Killer Remix have started making the rounds. As I recall reading a couple of comments about how it is not getting much coverage so far, and that is true in comparison to the beginning of the drama. The coverage is not nearly as popular, but that was to be expected. News about the start of drama will always be more popular than when it ends on a positive note. And I remember how it was handled poorly by the mainstream in general when it started, where outlets claimed it was because Snoop didn't include Eminem in his top 10 list, which was far from the truth. And funny enough, that narrative stuck around, as when the remix was discussed on Reddit just hours ago, some still dropped comments like, the question is why he felt some tap resentment in the first place. The last thing I expected was Em and Snoop to have some mini beef, glad it got squashed. Spoken like someone who only saw the headlines that time and the user cleared it up. Eminem said he doesn't mind not being in Snoop's greatest rapper's list. He doesn't mind Snoop saying Dre made Eminem who he is, but Snoop's in quotes, I could do without that ish about Eminem's work was an insult. It is quite astonishing to see people wonder why Eminem felt some type of way, but well, it is all water under the bridge now regardless of how the mainstream media handled it initially. And moving on to the song's performance so far, according to a recent report in the United States so far it goes, songs with the most digital sales in the United States this week so far, and you can spot the killer remix at number 2, and you can see a couple of reactions along these lines. I didn't even know Eminem released a song, and more like didn't even know Eminem released, and the user responds, it was only announced 12 hours before he released it, and I remember, 12 hours was more than enough for many on Twitter to start trashing the song. It is no wonder Eminem sticks to surprises, and on this platform for instance, it is still going strong, still trending for music, at number 15 right now. I can't speak for everyone, but the remix gets better after every spin. And moving on to the next point at hand, parodies of Eminem by Comedian that goes by Real DTG made its way to Unilad Sounds on Facebook where thousands have reacted to it, and the post states, Eminem would be the worst hiking partner laughing emoji. And here's a segment of the skit. I don't see the point of this or what the enjoyment is. You kept asking me to go on a hike. I tried avoiding it, but you just kept nagging and nagging like some sort of Would annoying you Shut up. It's beautiful out here. Okay, Kim. Like, I ain't never seen a tree in my life. Wow, this dirt is so cool. The color on those leaves is so bright. No, my legs are starting to hurt, and my feet feel like they're gonna fall off, so I don't give a f if the scenery's nice. Oh my god. All you do is literally whine. No, all I do is literally rhyme. <laughs> Big difference, bitch. You know, if you just stopped talking and kept walking, we'd be done faster. Mm -hmm. Kill you. I ain't done this ain't the course. I ain't even drug you in the woods yet to paint the force. Probably hide a body right there. Or there. Okay, how about this? Machine gun Kelly's a better rapper than you. What the f did you just say? And this has sparked popular reactions like, you know he actually says he drives himself crazy in his mind because he can't stop running words together all the time, lol. So this is probably true, but being the goat comes at a cost. Now this sounds like a stretch, but if you recall back in late 2019, we covered a story on this channel, and the last comedian that got Eminem's attention that even ended up on Homicide said the same thing when he met Eminem and I'll quote him. Eminem was rapping when he was having a conversation with us, and it was unbelievable. I was on the couch with this guy and he was rapping, talking to me, rapping, telling me something in a rap, and it all made sense. It was insane. And similar to what happened the last time a comedian went viral with Eminem impressions, a user expands. Totally love this kid, brilliant. I wanna see more of this young star alongside Eminem, that would be wicked to watch. The clip ended with this Eminem at a job interview impression. Alright Mr. Um, Slim Shady, um, what makes you qualified for this position? So, I mean I can rhyme any word in the world, right? Like, 
Try it. Give me something. Okay, but what does that have to do with this job? Okay, what does that have to do with this job? Why do I have to pick up and grab the poo for my dog? That's the stupidest law. Sir, what, 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 what are you talking about? What are you talking about, little nerd? You look awkward as hell. <coughs> like insurance. Um, well, I mean, I am the GOAT, so. A GOAT? Yeah, like greatest of all time, best to ever do it. Um, I sold the most rap fuck albums in history, so why couldn't I sell insurance, right? Okay, okay. Now, Slim, have you had any other jobs before in your life? Yeah, actually, I did. I worked at a place called uh, Gilbert's Lodge. Oh. I actually got fired though for uh, spitting in people's onion rings. Mm, okay, well I'm just gonna pretend that I didn't hear that and um, f you're hired. Wait, really? Yeah. Dope, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Actually, oh, hey, perfect timing. Kelly, come meet Slim. Hi, Kelly. And I have to agree with this take. That skit was actually genius, very well put together, especially with the references to actual Eminem lyrics that fit. I'll leave a link to the post on Facebook and also the IG page of the content creator. Thanks for watching, comment below and see you on the next one.